You wake up in the morning, and what do you do? You get yourself ready to go to school. But you don't have to go to school this time, because school is closed. School at home, school at home. Let's get ready for some school at home. School at home, school at home. It's time for school at home. Happy Friday! Let's take a look at our specific date and then I'll let you know what we're learning today. Today is Friday, May 15th. We're halfway through the month of May already. Now, since it's Friday and we normally go into the community on Fridays, I thought it would be a good day to practice learning the steps for riding the bus. Now, I know we all rode the bus together, but because of the germs and coronavirus, it's not a good time to ride on the bus. But we can still learn how to ride the bus. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at are the different steps for riding the bus. The first step is to plan out your route. You have to know which way to go, and the best way we like to do it in class is to use Google Maps on your phone or on the computer. The second step is for you to pay for a pass. Now, you can buy your pass when you get on the bus, but it's way easier if you buy one of these tickets before you get on the bus. Do you remember what our tickets look like? This is what our bus passes look like. Do you remember? Right. Let's see what we're supposed to do with the them. The third step is to arrive at the bus stop a little bit before your bus comes. Now, if you can see in the picture, he's actually under the bus stop. We used to wait at these bus stops all the time. Ours look a little bit different. The fourth step is to wait when the bus comes and to look at what number it says. You want to make sure it says the same number as your bus route, the one you're supposed to take. Some of the buses we take a lot are bus number 54 and bus number 71. Those take you down Chapman or down Tustin. The next step is to wait till everyone else gets off the bus. You can't get on while they're trying to get off. So the nice thing to do is to wait till they get off first. Then it's your turn to get on the bus. You have to put your bus pass into the machine. Do you remember how to do that? Let's look at a video from when you guys did it on the bus. When you enter the bus, you can either put your bus ticket in the slot or slide it across the scanner. Our students are doing an excellent job. The next step is to find a seat. Sometimes we have a favorite seat that we like to sit on on the bus. Maybe you like to sit next to the window or next to the front of the bus. But you can't always do that when there's a lot of people on the bus. So you have to be flexible and sit wherever you can find a spot. Here you can see that Miss Madison and Miss Chris are riding the public bus. They found their seat. When it's your turn to get off the bus, you have to pull the bus cord. Remember, it's a good idea to look out the bus window for things that you recognize. If you know that school's next to Target, then it's a good idea to pull the cord when you see that same Target. The last step is to exit the bus safely. Remember, if you need help to get off that last step, you can ask for help. Perfect, those are the steps for riding the bus.